I would only speak for two minutes just to tell everybody why we need to recover Nigeria to rescue Lagos. February 25th is the day we are going to recover Nigeria so as to rescue Lagos. Why do we need to rescue Lagos? I won't speak about that 23 years of hardship because that is there for everybody to see. But in 2019, when the current government took over power, poverty rate in the state of Lagos was 4.5. Today, it is 8.5. In 2019, when he took over power, unemployment rate at that time was 14.6. Today, it is 37.6. Despite the fact that they said they have invested over 10 billion naira in Lagos Trust uh, Employment Fund. But you know why they cannot do well with it? The guy that is running office today, unlike myself and my deputy, never in their life employ one person before. So they don't know what it takes to source for fun, invest it in a business, turn around and contribute to an economy. That is why you will get, you will meet an unemployment rate at 14.6. You will pump 10 billion into it and you will still have 37.16. It's a failure. For K9, for going to 20 years in this Lagos economy, We've been contributing our own quota, employing people, paying salaries, and today we can stand in front of everybody and beat our chest that where we are today is by our effort and to the glory of God. Therefore, let me use this opportunity to tell the people of Lagos, you complain all the time that you have thugs terrorizing you. you are I will say that again, they must hear. Let me use this opportunity to tell people of Lagos, every time you keep saying thugs are the ones terrorizing you under the guise of NURTW, do you want to hear the truth? It's government. It is your government that terrorizing you because if they want it to stop today, it will stop today. As governor of Lagos State, no, as the 16th governor of Lagos State, I am going to put a stop to every harassment on our roads, in our markets, and everywhere. It's time to have a Lagos. It's time for us to have a Lagos that will stop working for one man. It's time to have a Lagos that work for all of us, irrespective of where you're from. This is our pledge to the people of Lagos. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. He bought a yo, at the Guoco and Yote, Jack Amoyeda, Judaju. He bought a yo, at the Guoco, Jack Amoyeda, He bought a yo, at the Guoco, Alote, Jack Amoyeda, Judaju. Jando, tote yo, ati kuoko alote yo, eje ka mo yeda juda ju. Eje ka shifila, nitori ati ku abubaka, eje mbo ya fila ati ku la yende. Gele ati ku la yenwe, 
Eni ba u kogba o, eni ba u kogba o. Fila ati kula ye. Ala ni iti o ba du mo kogbo soda me ba o. Fila ati kula ye. Ire de ire de o, jando funke akinde le o. Ire de ire de o, ibo ati kula o madi. Ire wo le de, ibo ati kuli kedi o. Eye ko. Oh yeah, baby, baby, king go, baby, baby, king go. BDP. When I know what's happening, then talk say the one where they talk for that side. That that guy never hear. That I have to come here so that he can hear that in the last 23 years we have seen nothing in the state of Lagos. They've been busy enriching themselves. But this time, it is time for us to have a government that is going to work for all of us. I said earlier on that the current governor, when he took over office, our poverty rate in the state of Lagos, where Ambody left it, was 4.5%. Now, it is 8.5%. I said earlier on that this guy, when he took over office as governor of Lagos State, our unemployment rate in the state of Lagos was 14.6%. Now it is 37.16%. Despite the fact that he said he has invested 10 billion naira in Lagos State Employment Trust Fund, where has the money gone to? But let me tell you why he failed and why they will continue to fail. These guys and his deputy, both of them, all their lives, they've ever been a salary earners. They've never invested one cobble into this economy. Look at my deputy, you know her, and Jando. At the age of 31, I started employing people in this economy. Funke and Hai, we've had costs to source for fun, turn it around, invest in this economy, make a profit, employ people, and pay taxes. But for them, they have never in their lives done that. This is why we are better off them. I am 45, she is 45. We have energy, we are physically fit, we are mentally fit, we are going to turn around the economy of this state. I said earlier on, that what you have, where thugs under the guise of NURTW people were terrorizing Lagosians. No, they are not the ones terrorizing you. It is your government that is terrorizing you. If they want it to stop today, it will stop. And like I said, as the 16th governor of Lagos State, I will put a stop to all forms of harassment in our market, on our roads, and we make sure Lagos works for everybody. Finally, let me tell us, I have been saying this so far. I have visited 95 wards from the 245 wards, and we are still going. But everywhere I go to, don't forget, I remind you that the only election we have in this state to win is the February 25th election. That first ballot, the moment we are done winning that election, they will leave Lagos and run away. Don't get it twisted. Funke and I have been ordained by God that we are the one that will put an end to this dynasty that has held us in the Jugula over two decades. With the support of my president, who is going to be the 16th president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Look at him. He is sound. When he speaks, he eh, is coherent. When he speaks, you see experience speaking. He is calm. You can see, even in the face of provocation, he is so calm. Very presidential. Your Excellency, the 16th President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, Alaji Atiku Abaka, Waziri Adamawa, 
my order. Thank you very much and welcome to me. Eyan lo ikore ba mi sha ja ndo la tewo 